bring greetings from Georgia. It's just a little warmer down there. <laughs> I used to live in Chicago. This feels just like Chicago. <laughs> what? No, it's fantastic. Actually, it's been two, in the, two years in a row that I've come to the great state of Maryland, and I'm having such a wonderful time. This is a really neat town, too. Great restaurants. <laughs> I've eaten my way through most of them. Feels like. Well, it's been an absolute joy working with this fine group of talented musicians. This is without doubt the finest all county band I've seen, and I've conducted all county bands all over the country. This is the best I've ever seen. So, in addition to being really talented, they're really, really nice people, and uh, it's been a joy for me to work with them. And I want to thank you parents and teachers for all you do to make music an important part of their lives. Because music is, is so special to our culture and society, especially in modern times like these. Um, it's a way of understanding the world and ourselves that goes beyond words and language. And uh, it's a gift that they have that they will share with you for the rest of their lives. So I hope they will continue to play their instruments. And I want to thank the directors that have invited me. It's been really, really fun getting to know you guys. So uh, our program is called it's American Vignettes, I said. So the next piece bears a little explanation I want to tell you about it. It's uh, also by Charles Ives. We compared it with the last piece of Charles Ives. Um, this is from a work called the Concord Sonata for Piano. And this is one movement of it that's been excerpted and transcribed for band. And what I love about this, the Alcots, is actually about family and home and community. So it really resonates with all of us, I think. And uh, it actually describes a very humble house in Concord, Massachusetts, where the Alcott family lived. Do any of you guys know uh, Louisa May Alcott, that author? Raise your hand if you might know that author. Yes, fantastic. So, and from a, a school of uh, philosophy called the New England Transcendentalists. But anyway, this movement describes the story of uh, the young daughter, and she had a spinet piano in her house, and she'd sit down and play little tunes at the piano. So you're going to hear some quotes in the piece that you might recognize. I'm not going to tell you what they are. They, there may be a quiz at the end. No, I'm just kidding. Let's see how you do. But um, it's a very emotional piece, very heartwarming, and it's got a fantastic buildup if we pace it correctly. So, we'll see. The last piece in our program is, is the newest piece. It's very modern. It's by a young guy named John Mackey called Aurora Awakes. Tell us a bit about folklore, and you'll hear in the beginning of that piece a very soft opening. It's right before the dawn, and then the, the sun breaks, and then the last part of the piece is just very joyous, so we hope to leave you with a song in your heart. Thank you so much for being a great audience.